This tutorial demonstrates how to edit images in Hippo Animator. You can import images, or draw your own. In this example we will download some images from Google. Open the clip art window, and download a cat illustration. Choose an image with a solid background color so it can be removed. The image is downloaded to the library. Next, download a wooden floor image. Finally, download an old wallpaper image to use as the background. Now we have all the images we need. Select the wallpaper in the library, and then open the image editor from its properties. The wallpaper image is far too big for the movie. The movie is only 600 pixels wide. Resize the image to 700 pixels wide, so it covers the background with a small overlap. Close the image editor for the wallpaper, and then select and edit the wooden floor. Resize this image to 1200 pixels wide. Next, choose the Tilt Y filter, and tilt the floor so it looks like it's 3D. Finally, open the cat illustration in the image editor. We only want the cat on the bottom left. Use the crop tool to select only that part of the image. This image is also too large. Resize the image to 300 pixels wide. We want the image to have a transparent background. Select the Flood Fill tool. In the properties, set the opacity of the color to zero, a transparent color. You can now simply fill the background color of the image with the transparent color. Use the Cutout tool to remove any remaining unwanted parts of the image. We can now put the whole scene together. Drag the floor onto the editor and place it at the bottom. Place the wallpaper in the editor above the floor. And then, place the cat on the floor. This is what the scene looks like in the player. Each element of the scene could be animated, if we wanted to. Let's try to improve the scene first. Add another copy of the cat image to the editor. Right click the image and choose Flip Vertical, to flip it upside down. Reduce the opacity of the image and then drag it in the editor to make it look like a reflection. Drag the new cat image in the timeline, and place it behind the original cat image. Press play to check what it looks like in the player. In the library, open the menu for the cat image and choose duplicate. Rename the new image, cat shadow. Open the image editor for the cat shadow. Select the shadow filter to change the image into a shadow. Then, select the blur filter to blur the edges of the shadow. Drag the cat shadow to the editor. Half the height of the shadow and skew the shadow, so it looks like it is at an angle. Line up the feet of the cat shadow image to the feet of the original cat image. Then drag the shadow in the timeline behind the original cat image. Press play to see the final scene.